Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my website at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, everything about Excel. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to say a great big thank you to everybody. Hit a milestone today, 3.5 million views. Also over 10,500 subscribers. I think that's awesome. Really appreciate all the fans out there and thanks for watching this video. Um, this video is actually inspired by one of our fans who gave me a different technique for our last video. Uh, Leonid has been a fan for a while, sends me things, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Leonid. Uh, Leonid said, why don't we uh, change how we create this line and use error bars instead of an actual XY series? Uh, we're going to use an XY series, but we're going to add error bars onto it instead uh, to use that breakup for any time you want to uh, divide up different categories that you may have already created in your clustered uh, stacked column charts, clustered charts, bar charts. This technique can be used on all of those. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how to do it. First off, uh, we're going to have our data. Um, it adds some complication, but it also makes it a little bit easier in uh, this new technique. So as you can see here, we have our original data set up where we've got southern region, northern region, and then we've got the various states within each one of those regions and uh, some values of products and services that we're going to chart. Now, previously in my X and Y um, vertical lines, I had the X's for both the starting point and Y's for the ending point. We only really need one point total if we're going to use an error bar. Uh, so thus, you've seen the change in the data here to just having one XY point. And I'll show you where that four and a half comes into play here in a minute. So what we want to do first is go ahead and create our chart by highlighting our data range. We're going to go up to our insert ribbon. Now note, this is in Excel 2016, so it may look a little different if you're in Excel 2010. Uh, I'm going to click on the chart type here uh, to pick a clustered stacked, I'm sorry, a stacked column chart. And you can see Excel has gone ahead and created my Excel stacked column chart. Now, one difference between Excel 2010 and Excel 2016, the default for the legend is down here on the bottom. We can click on that and move that uh, anywhere we wish by clicking on the legend. Uh, and uh, we can actually even probably just double click on the whole legend. Uh, you'll get your format legend dialog box popping up and we can change it to the right if we wish. So it'd look a little bit more like the 2010 version I showed you before. All right, uh, next, um, one other thing that uh, Excel 2016 does is it automatically adds in a chart title. If you don't want that chart title, you can simply select it, hit delete, and your chart will expand accordingly. Now let's get on to adding that vertical separator line um, in between South Carolina and New York, which is our southern and northern region. Now this is where the X at 4.5 comes into play. There are four categories, one, two, three, four, and then there are five, six when you get into the northern region. So we want to go right between the fourth and the fifth uh, data points of the series, and that so that thus 4.5. We're going to be right in the middle uh, at 4.5, and we're going to place the the point here at four and a half and zero so that we can add a uh, error bar on the plus side to uh, bisect uh, these two regions. Let's go ahead and do that now. So what we want to do is select our chart. We're going to go up to our uh, design ribbon. So if you're not already there, click on your design ribbon. Then over on the right, you'll see a select data button. Once you click on that, you will now have a select data data source dialog box. We want to click on the add button. Um, now we are going to give it the series name of our vertical line that we have over here in A9. So we'll be able to easily identify it. Uh, I'm going to hit the tab button to make sure I select that entire series value. And I'm going to just go ahead and choose the X at four and a half. We're going to modify this in the next step. This is really more for visibility. You can make this four and a half um, as large as you want, as small as you want. You'll just have to change it back to four and a half, but uh, we'll choose that for right now, as opposed to choosing the zero Y value. It's just harder to see on the chart, and we're going to get into a step where we have to add in the X and Y. Uh, so instead of just doing it now, we'll, we'll just fix it in the next step. Click on OK, and then um, you can see there's a little green uh, stacked uh, part of our Florida version, and we have to click on OK to keep that change. So right there in Florida is our vertical line series, as you see in our legend. I'm going to uh, click on that vertical um, line series, 
and what I want to do is I want to move this to the secondary axis and change the chart type for that. So in Excel 2010, you'd probably double click on it, move it to the secondary axis, then go up and change the chart type. We can do this all in the same step within Excel 2016 by simply selecting the design ribbon. And in the design ribbon, we have a button called change chart type. Once you are in the change chart type dialog box, Let's see if I can move this out of the way a little bit here. Uh, well, let's move it back first. You can see over here on the right-hand side, there is a secondary access checkbox. Once I click that on the secondary access checkbox, you can see our uh, sample view here is showing a whole new green bar um, with a secondary access uh, vertical um, axis showing up there as well. And then simply change from stacked column, scroll down in here and find uh, scatter with straight lines probably doesn't really matter since we're not going to add a second point to this you can probably pick any one of the scatter charts uh, so I'll just go ahead and select scatter with lines and click on OK now our chart has gotten rid of that vertical line on the second primary axis put it on the secondary axis shows up here in our legend as a vertical line but it's not showing up on the chart that is because it is a point only and the only way you see a point is when it's connected to another point Typically, um, that's your best way to see it. Uh, but so it's at four and a half and zero, so it's just not really showing up on our chart here. But that's easy to fix. Uh, next, what we want to do is go ahead and select your chart anywhere in there, and we're going to change um, now that we've got a vertical line as our chart type. We're going to go up to our design ribbon. We are going to do the select data button to bring up the select data dialog box click on vertical line and we want to edit those values that you saw for your vertical line so we've got the uh, label name or the series name up there I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna choose my X values which is the four and a half I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna choose my Y values over here in column C and click on OK click on OK again now once again you're not really seeing the point there it is there uh, if I click on my chart and cycle through in Excel 2016 I got to hit the control up arrows and you can kind of or down arrows and you can see once it is selected it's highlighted at the data over here on the left you can see the point exists it's just not showing up because of uh, its current placement and size uh, but we're that's okay now that we have it selected we're going to add error bars to this now to do this what you want to do is uh, if you can't find out how to select your unselectable series it's like how do I cl click on it? it might not be visible for you you can click anywhere on your chart go up to the format ribbon in your current selection uh, grouping if you pull that down arrow you'll see the series vertical line is our last entry there you will see the data will get highlighted on the left the series will show up with the four little dots around it as well now that we have our point selected we want to add error bars to do that go up to your design ribbon go over in 2016 Excel and hit add chart element click on error bars do more error bar options you will see the error bar dialog box pop up um, for uh, it's going to be um, there's actually you'll notice in our point here over in our chart there's actually two error bars that are created because it's an XY uh, error bars so uh, there's an X error bar and a Y error bar currently we have as you can see we've selected the Y error bar we want the direction to only show positive so only the plus but notice the Y error or X error bar still showing up down there on the uh, horizontal secondary axis. Uh, we also want to have a fixed value of one. Um, typically, I do uh, end style of no cap anyway, just to make sure that that doesn't show up. And uh, we are cooking with gas. So let's uh, go ahead and modify um, the next part of this. This line here, uh, if we're going to match Leonid's concept, we want to go to the fill line. We want to change it to a solid line and we want to change the weight to make it a little heavier maybe like two points and we want to change the dash type to a dash and you can see that it's now going to show up over on our uh, chart as we would like we can go ahead and close this down now there's a, a couple of changes that we want to do um, one we want to get rid of the vertical axis um, in a way that it just kind of hiding it uh, kind of easy to do um, we also want to get rid of these horizontal error bars that are showing up on that um, new uh, XY scatter chart so uh, let's do the first let's get, take care of the vertical axis by double clicking on the vertical axis that should bring up your format access dialog box 
We want to change our bounds. Um, these are probably called mins and maxes. I don't think they're called bounds in uh, 2010. We want to change one, the minimum to zero, and we want to change the maximum to one. Anytime you click on that and then click away, you'll see that it'll get changed over there. Uh, we also want to change our tick marks. We don't want to show any tick marks on the secondary axis. We'll make that none. We want to change our labels on the secondary axis to hide those numbers to none so that uh, you can see the vertical axis is now gone for the secondary vertical axis. All right, final thing we want to do, uh, or second to final thing we want to do is get rid of the horizontal error bars that are showing up on our points. Uh, so click on your chart, go up to your design ribbon. We are going to go over to, I'm sorry, the format uh, dialog uh, ribbon. We're going to pick the current selection uh, drop down and instead of the vertical Y error bars, we're going to choose the vertical X error bars. You can see they're now highlighted in our chart. We can then go back to our format ribbon, click on format selection, and you'll see we are formatting the horizontal error bars. We want to do, um, doesn't really matter about both or none. Um, we are going to, uh, or both minus or plus, uh, what we want to do is change it to no cap. Uh, and then we want to change our line to no line. Once we've done that, you will see that our horizontal error bars are now gone. We have our two regions separated by a vertical dashed line that we used and created. Uh, we used a XY scatter chart and we added error bars to those, a plus one only, uh, so that it separates those regions. Final thing I need to do is just a little bit of chart cleanup by clicking on my legend, clicking on that legend entry called vertical line and then hitting my delete button on my keyboard, you can see the vertical line is now no longer gonna show up in the legend, so people won't be concerned. What is the vertical line series? I wanna say a great big thanks to Leonid for uh, sending me this solution. I do like it, uh, it's a lot cleaner in that uh, the um, dashes or the line is gonna go up to the very top. It's always gonna be uh, one, which will be at the very top no matter how we change our data. Uh, so we don't have to add a separate column here of totals and doing a min or max with a second point for our line. Uh, so it does add a little bit of complexity on the setup, but uh, probably a uh, of the chart, um, uh, but makes your data a little bit more simple. And uh, I think it's got a better, cleaner look. So thanks very much for that, Leonid. I really appreciate that. Uh, please send me any of your suggestions as well in the comments or uh, via the contact us button on the form. And thanks very much. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.